I'm Tyler. And I'm Bobby. And today we are in Reykjavik, Iceland. And our activity today is to go do a Icelandic cooking class at Salt Eldhus. We're going to learn how to cook some authentic Icelandic dishes and get warm also, hopefully. I don't know, what else is there to say? Let's get cooking. <laughs> Perfect. Closet is apparently a, a lift up. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. Oh, good. I thought there was going to be a wall right here. <laughs> now somebody. somebody oh boy. Wow. <laughs> the door is locked. We're not moving. Okay. Light barrier. Oh, somebody's. Somebody's Light too barrier. close. Help. We're being held prisoner in an Icelandic liftu. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Somebody outside the door is saying push, push the, the red, red button. button. Push the red push button. Push the red button. Somebody's telling me. We're pressing buttons. Multiple buttons. The door unlocked. We're going up. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Which yeah. one? Six. Six. Can you, can Come you out. Yes. Now? Just walk up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're back in. Door is locked again. Oh God. <laughs> I just, I think I just went into the yellow section again. I think I have been the one that has been causing all the problems. Oh, yeah. One, six, go. Oh no. Somebody else is trying to get in. Uh, this is a debacle. It's now been five, five minutes? It's been five days. <laughs> we can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're officially late for the cooking class. But spirits are high. <laughs> spirits are high. <laughs> John had some weed. <laughs> um, in all the movies I've seen, one of us has to crawl yeah. up through the I was, yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah. It doesn't really look no. like a good Is plan whole, here. The whole Wait. panel comes so off? There's or? no access panel. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, there we go. We moved. We moved. Okay. All right. This is good. Oh, oh get oh. Move it. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> escape, escape. <laughs> We've never been so happy to walk up six flights in full snow gear. <laughs> it's a situation. <laughs> Washing our hands and getting our aprons on. Thank you, Jim. Okay, getting all freshened okay. up Ready. to put my hands on some raw meat. It's a sort of start that we've been having after. Today's fabulous menu includes Arctic char. It's indigenous to the fresh and very cold waters of Iceland. We'll be cooking it with fennel and Arctic so wild thyme. Our second course will be a traditional Sunday roast of herb-crusted lamb. Along with this will be sautéed red cabbage with raisins and a green pea puree with mint. We're going to make some fondant potatoes today, roasted with thyme and garlic. And for the best part of any meal, dessert, we'll be making skier panna cotta with brown whey cheese cream. Although skier often gets associated with yogurt, it's actually a cheese. And the origins of it date back to the 9th century when Viking settlers brought the recipe with them to Iceland. So we need something sweet to go with it. A byproduct of making skier, or any cheese, is whey. Uh, this is whey cheese. It's an excellent starting point. Very dry. And a little caramel -y. cream cheese. Yeah, caramel cream cheese. It's similar to caramel cream cheese. So let's split in two groups of five each. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah. I did have breakfast. But you had a hard walk, didn't you? Yeah, I had a hard walk and a trying experience in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Worked up an appetite. So uh, let's start here with the uh, skier pudding. 
we're doing a quick paste dessert prep that's gonna go into the fridge for about an hour and then we'll move on to our savory main courses. Sixty grams of sugar. We don't use cups here. We must yeah. use either scale or this. Yes. Two hundred grams of skier. Two hundred grams. starting to brown on the edges, but it's not enough, so we give it one more minute. More cream. I think it's warm enough. Okay. So you can take the jelly pieces out here. I'm going to take this. This is the part my grandkids love mm -hmm. when it disappears. Oops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> too hot. Yeah. How the time? We're done. Okay. We're going to let it cool off, and then we can uh, chop it later. Baked white chocolate has given off this wonderful aroma that is slightly caramelized and really sweet. And of course I can smell the chocolate in there too. It's sort of given the whole kitchen a, a sweet coating. So, we need to pour in here. Mm, we only need five. Creamy and a little sour. is so um, alive right now. I can see the snow-capped mountains outside and it's nice and warm in here. We have creamy smells filling the air and everyone's cheery thinking about food. So windy, yeah. yeah. I stayed up, I stayed up, I stayed up knitting. stealing a little bit of the whipping cream to pour into my coffee because coffee really is best enjoyed with whipping cream. Okay. Gotta keep my energy up for all this cooking. <laughs> nice and strong. I freaking love strong coffee. Don't give me So these are crowberries. And I make this extract from crowberries. I harvest them in, in August. They are they, they just grow wild. You make this? Yeah, I make this. It's not uh, alcohol. It's mm. only oh. Oh. vitamin C. It's kind of a concentrate. Yeah. It's a very special berry, and it only thrives in, in a Nordic part of the world. Surely this must be a yarn dye as well. The crowberry. It is. Yeah. It is. Thank you. Oh, it's only. Kraust, bottoms up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sipping it. Whoa! Mmm! Berry blueberry -y. It's sweet and a, and a little sour and has that dryness of a cranberry. Oh yeah, I'm feeling healthier already. Much more enlivened. Between this and my extra strong coffee, I'm ready to go. I love cutting vegetables. This is, this is, uh, <laughs> And then, what size cubes? We're gonna fry them up, and then we're gonna roast them in stock. Some people in the group were listening. Some people, like me, missed a few tidbits. Oh, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I was so surprised. 
she just told me I'm using it, an Ikea knife. And we were all saying, oh, it's so nice, $12 Ikea knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we're just going to take a look at it from time to time. Food is happening all over the place. We've got frying potatoes yeah. and Arctic char and dessert chilling. Nice crush that we are going to put around the, the lamb. We are now creating what will be a nice crisp coating on the lamb with parmesan and breadcrumbs already in the food processor. This is the parsley from our greenhouse. That's okay. not the greenhouse. Springtime. So we, we would always have a, a lamb as a family meal. It's, it's a very, very common. For ages we didn't have any other meat, only the lamb. So yeah. it's, it's very much in the culture. So my grandma would either have a rack of lamb or a leg of lamb. It's always fun to see a new way to cook potatoes. I feel sometimes limited at home, but now I'm definitely going to make potato bricks at home, or potato stonehenge, it's probably a better way to say it. People are getting hungry all over the place. Okay. It's nice. Inevitably, being in a room full of people who love to cook, the topic of the brilliant TV show, The Great British Bake Off, is going to find its way into our conversation. By chance, we get an unexpected treat. Loifa Breut became famous on The Great British Baking Show. Christmas edition? Mm. At first I thought, oh, it's like a very thin, savory pie crust. But there's a little bit of herbiness to it also. Buttery. Yeah. 10-15 minutes is best on a low heat, on a medium heat. So four tablespoons of double cream. Yeah. Thirty grams of fresh or frozen peas, a tablespoon of butter. So here we have a scallop. It's easier to peel them by cutting them in two. Mm -hmm. It's always hard to peel them. Everything is right with the world when onions and garlic are being sautéed in the kitchen. We did just eat the cabbage dish at Holden Mati's house. Mm, is that what we're making here? Yeah, they made us that traditional Christmas yeah. lunch. Now we get to make it ourselves. So this is also for locals, this cooking this cooking school. Tonight we have a sausage making class. Oh, yeah. I'm teaching that. I love to make sausages. Yes. We're preparing a gorgeous fennel salad with orange and capers right now. It's just beautiful. Bright orange against the light green. The fennel salad? bulb. Have you tried fennel? Oh, yeah. Raw? Not raw. Mm. It's yeah, so like good. Yeah. Fennel is so healthy. What's it healthy like in what way? And it's full of fibers. Ah. Mm. Oh, so I have not been pooping digestion. good, so I should probably eat a bunch of that. Yeah, you should talk to the Italians about that. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about it all the time. Right? Do they? Yeah. I'm Italian partly, so maybe that's oh, why really? I'm talking about it. That explains. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the fibers here. Yeah. Yeah, you can put them in there. I've never had raw fennel before. 
It's delicious. Very good. Yeah, it's very juicy and a hint of licorice flavor, but crispy. Mm. And it's gonna help my pooper, apparently. My daughter's so. On to the meat phase of our preparation. We're doing pan frying of the lamb, and then we're going to roast it for a little while as well. All these knitters are egging us on at now that I've said meat phase. I meant the lamb. I don't know. A lot of gutter, gutter mines in this kitchen. just pan fried the lamb, and now we're gonna finish it in the oven. Pour soy. Fish phase. For many Icelanders, summer has officially arrived once the scent of wild Icelandic thyme fills the air. It really does have a lavender scent. Wild Icelandic thyme. It can be used as a tea or a cooking herb to bring dishes to life, including our Arctic char. You're the editor of what magazine? Uh, it's called Gästgemin. It's, uh, it's a local food and wine magazine. Expand my horizons and try some dried wolf fish with a pat of butter. I think I was supposed to get a small invite. It's sort of a mix between the smell of flake fish food that you would feed in an aquarium and a really dry rye cracker. I can imagine getting into this if I was raised on it. Home-baked rye bread, it took nine hours to bake with butter. <clears throat> If you're like me and you don't like rye bread, you'll like this. Is that mustard? What are you putting on there? So this is Dijon mustard yeah. here. <laughs> right now I'm the, the main cook in our house. Uh -huh. Bobby basically refuses to eat unless I force feed him. <laughs> <laughs> or unless we're in Iceland. The moment we've all been waiting for. This is our Arctic char on fennel salad. I love a salad yeah. that has hot as well as cold foods involved. Light and crunchy down below. Warm and flaky, the Arctic char. Excuse me, I'm doing a commentary. It's the light and crunchy down below the bitter end. <laughs> Okay. That was 
amazing. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Spanish from Rioja. Oh, Spanish. That's nice. Very tender lamb. Mm -hmm. So good. And I do get our parsley and garlic, mm -hmm. red wine, and stock sauce. One of the really wonderful things about this meal is the color balance on the plate. I love it when a plate has greens, colors, browns. Superb. This is delicious. It's a non-alcoholic malt Christmas drink. It's amazing. I want to get some of this to take home. What's it taste like? It tastes like slightly orangey and slightly caramelly. Traveling presents constant new ways to learn and experience different views and cultural customs. And Tyler and I are always on the lookout for bridges to connect to others. It is certainly no secret that food does just this. And collaboratively cooking food brings even more nuance to personality and our different ways of thinking. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, today is a good day. Yeah. One, two, three. Scow! Oh, it wasn't recording. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>